Hi, and welcome to Thin Black Lines. In this video, we will discuss three common types of latch weights. That is, page latch, page IO latch, and latches. While XX represents two different mode of latches, for better understandings, don't forget to watch our introduction video of weights and cues series. To provide logical transactional consistency, SQL Server uses locks. Same way, light weighted and quick latches are used by SQL Server engine. To guarantee consistency of in-memory structure, including data and index pages, as well as other internal memory structures. But unlike locks, which can be controlled by a user, latches are totally handled by SQL Server engine and are held for a very short time of physical operation on page. Unlike locks, which are held for the duration of logical transaction, as latches are lightweight and are acquired for very short time. So these never cause any performance issue until multiple concurrent threads struggling for access to the same latch and cause generation of three type of latch weights. If thread A working on a scheduler and need a data or index page, which is already in memory, but another thread X on a different scheduler is already updating same page, then our thread A have to wait. Require a shade latch until first one release the exclusive latch. This type of wait when a page is already in memory is called page latch. This type of latch contention can be observed for PFS and SCAM pages for tempdb. On creating a new object, PFS and SCAM pages are read first. And if an application is frequently creating temp tables, then page latch on page ID 211 and 213 can be a serious problem. Multiple data files for tempdb and trace 1118 can help to resolve this issue. When a thread attempts to access a page which is not already in the buffer pool, then a synchronous I.O. is posted. To load the page from hard drive into the buffer pool, SQL Server needs to wait for the I.O. subsystem to respond. It will wait on an exclusive page I.O. latch EX or shade page I.O. latch SH, I.O. latch depending on the type of request. Page IO latch is a common weight type, and high values for this weight type can be an indication of serious performance issues. Definitely, we must also analyze IO subsystem latencies by querying sys.dm IO virtual file stats and performance counters like average disk queue length, average disk second per read, and average disk second per write. But, in 90% cases problem is somewhere else. Like if CX packet weights values are also high and extra parallel scans occurring, then we must create proper non-clustered indexes and also statistics should be kept updated. It is possible that business is growing and query batch load is increasing. So we must keep eye on page life expectancy performance counter and should increase buffer memory if required. Latches. Wait occurs when a thread is waiting to acquire latches for access to non-buffer pages in memory. A common example is access methods hopped virtual route, which is used to access the metadata for an index that contains page ID of the index's root page. There are several type of latch pages for non-data page structures and should be further investigated by querying sys.dm os latch stats.